Hey again everybody. Doing a couple videos today. We got some time today so we're doing a couple videos. I'm gonna do this one and we did another one then. So if you see us wearing the same clothes in two different videos that's why we're filming them on the same day but they probably won't be put on YouTube the same day. So um, just want to get on here while we have some time you know to get these done. A lot of times it's hard when we're running and, and trying to film some videos. So what I want to talk about today is something that we get asked a lot about, and that is how long do we stay out on the road and away from home? Now, there's no, I can answer how, what we do and how long we stay out, um, but that's not going to be the same for everybody. It's really going to be uh, depending on each individual, it's gonna, it's gonna be different. And there's a couple of factors, um, to think about and how that affects that. So I want to talk about that today, um, in case you're wondering. So before I talk about how long we stay out and our experience, um, I want to talk about the couple of factors that are going to affect, um, how long that you'll need to stay out on the road. <clears throat> now, one of those factors is going to be if you own your own truck or if you drive for an owner. Now, of course, if you own your own truck, you're going to have a little bit more flexibility um, with how long you can stay out or not. If you drive for an owner, that owner is probably going to require you to stay out a certain amount of time and then have a certain amount of time off. So that's one thing to think about um, with us. Our owner, I believe he requires four to six weeks out before you go home. That's really what he likes. And again, every owner is going to be different. You would just have to, um, you know, when you drive for that owner, of course, they're going to going to let you know that. So um, if being home a lot is important to you, that's one of the things you're probably going to want to find out um, if you're talking to a particular owner before you start driving for them and see what exactly they require you required of you to stay out on the road. The next factor is going to be the carrier you work for. Um, the carrier, they may have some restrictions on how long you can stay home and be away. I know with Panther, um, if you're gone or off out of service for more than four weeks, you have to go back through orientation again. Now, that may have changed, you know, we we did orientation three years ago and they may have changed that, but most carriers, um, unless I think you work for maybe Landstar, I'm sure FedEx, uh, No Panther, you know, Load One, uh, all of those, XPO, I'm sure that they probably have some restrictions on that and that's one thing you're probably gonna want to find out. So those two factors are really the biggest ones um, when deciding how long to stay out and how long to stay at home. Um, you know, like I said, everybody's situation is going to be a little different. Um, let me talk a little bit about how, what Jason and I do. We stay out for two and a half to three months before we go home. When we stay out two and a half to three months, when we go home, we usually take a week to a week, uh, two weeks off just depending on what time of year, how good we're running, um, and that works well for us. Now, I will tell you three years ago when we first started, you know, we first started, we planned on staying out for two months. Our first time out, I think we made it out a month and we were ready to go home. You know, when you get into the, especially for people that have never been in trucking or expediting, have never, you know, lived in a truck, it is hard, you know, you, you can, say you're going to do things, but once you get out here, it sometimes is a different story. So for us, with our experience, you know, we had high hopes of staying out for two months that first time out. But after a month, you know, we were exhausted. It, you know, we were, we were having trouble sleeping on the truck, you know, getting accustomed to that. So um, I, like I said, it may have been six weeks and then we went home for a week. But, um, you know, as the, the time has progressed and the longer we've been doing it, we've worked our way up to staying out that two and a half to three months. 
Um, I will say, you know, one of the biggest factors now for me is the newer truck that we're in now. Um, the, the truck we were in before this, it was a little older. The sleeper was different. It wasn't an integrated sleeper. It was a kind of a bolt-on sleeper on the back. Um, and it just what didn't seem as open to me as this one the truck that we're in now you know i absolutely love the setup i love the sleeper um and that's a factor for me that has helped me to not mind staying out longer and you know we've worked our way our way up to staying out that long um and not uh, staying out that long is not for everybody you know Jason and I, we don't have a house to go back to. Like we said in our Meet Us video, when we go home, we have an RV we stay in. So, you know, those factors, we don't have kids. You know, that's another factor. You know, um, a lot of you, you know, you may have a home, you may have children that you need to go back to, family, things like that. So that's some factors that are going to, you know, help you or... or going to play into how long you're going to want to stay out. You know, we know some people, you know, they stay out three weeks and they go home a week. You know, some people need to be home every weekend. Um, I will say in this business, in the expediting business, you know, the longer you stay out, the more you're out, that's how you're going to make money. The, the more often that you're going home and the more time you take off, you know, you're not getting paid for that time off. It's You don't get paid vacations in this business. So that's something to think about. You know, you also got to think about when you're off for however long it is, you know, you're not getting paid for that week. So you know, when you come back out, you've got to think about that. You know, it's going to be a week or two before you get a check again. So um, all those factors play in. And like I said, it, there's really, I can't tell you how long you can, you need to stay out or anything like that. That's really going to be determined by you and your situation. Um, like I said, I, Jason and I, what works for us may not work for you. Um, your owner, if you drive for an owner, they may require you to stay out longer. You know, our owner um, doesn't mind that we stay out two and a half, three months, and then we take a week to two weeks off. Um, you know, when we're out that two and a half to three months, we, we really run and, you know, we're not just sitting a lot. So again, that works for us. And that's really something that you're going to have to determine on your own how long you want to stay out. Like I mentioned, you know, if you own your own truck, you have a lot more flexibility on that. Um, as far, you know, you don't have to worry about telling an owner, asking an owner, Hey, I need to go home. Can I go home? You know, our owner is, is awesome. You know, we don't feel like, you know, we're under his thumb all the time. Um, he's an, he's really an awesome person to work for. And, you know, we don't take advantage of that, but we we're very fortunate that the owner we work for, he doesn't micromanage us and he knows that we're, you know, we're going to run and make money for the truck and make him money. And, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have to worry about that. And I think that that's one of the reasons he doesn't mind, you know, we do stay out that long and then taking the week to two weeks off. So again, that's just what works for us. Um, something to think about, you know, um, again, everybody's situation is different. So. So I hope that helped. Um, if you're wondering about that, like I said, that's probably one of the, the most frequent questions we get asked about is how long we stay out. Um, if you have any other questions, let us know. Like I always say, you can leave it down below in the comments. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, any of those avenues. You can always contact us. We're happy to hear from you, happy to help any way we can. And hope you all are having a great, great day. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.